Hi guys and welcome back to Sportscan HD and welcome back to another episode of the Rebuilding the Crazy Gang AFC Wimbledon FIFA 13 Career Mode series and today we're going to kick off this episode by simming a Capital One Cup game against Hartlepool uh, not really interested in the Capital One Cup all the cup competitions full stop I did mention this in the previous episode going to simulate them we did go, go on to lose 2-1 in that game so we're at the Capital One Cup but that's not, not, too, not too big a deal because as I was saying I'm not too, not too interested in those then we had a game against Dagenham and Redbridge away, and it was really frustrating. Uh, it took all the way till the 90th minute for Kieran to get us an amazing goal, actually. It was a great finish. I showed quite a few highlights of it. Uh, really good finish, really dramatic. I, I literally leapt out my feet and just punched the air. I was like, yes, get in, because it was just felt like one of those games I was banging my head against a brick wall. Nothing was working for us, but we did get the goal in the end, and we did win it 1-0. So good, good stuff there. But then uh, throughout the whole episode... I am trying to sell Midson the striker, uh, we get numerous offers from different clubs, um, I think I showed the Doncaster offer, uh, but it was just too low, so I kept on negotiating with them, kept on negotiating, but they weren't budging, and I had to get rid of a player who I'm not going to be using because there's no point keeping him, I need, the, I need to free up the wages as I mentioned in the previous episode as well, uh, we need a new centre back, so I needed to free up the uh, wages or get some transfer budget in, stick it into the wages, to try and get a decent, decent uh, amount of money so I can offer uh, a new centre back a uh, decent wage or get a decent player I guess what I'm trying to say. Uh, Yusuf also had an offer from Yeovil but it was just below below satisfa satisfactory offer it was not very good at all so I rejected it or counted it uh, I don't think they come back with a better offer and also Pryor another striker did he, had an offer for him as well but again just negotiated they weren't prepared to offer a huge amount of money for him so bit disappointing but hopefully if we can just get anything for these players who are just aren't needed then uh, we can get ourselves some free agents in. Um, Yusuf is one I might hold on to actually. Then we had a game against Bristol Rovers at home, uh, second episode, second game of this episode that I play anyway and um, we battered them, we absolutely battered them as you see in the highlights. We saw um, good goal there early on by Parker, really good passing movement and then uh, the new midfielder whose name still escapes me did a really good pass into him and Parker did a good turn and then buried it with the goal for the goal. Really good stuff. Uh, Bristol Rovers looked really poor in this game defensively. They were they were a bit of a shambles. So I was really pleased to be able to put them away. It wasn't like it was it was the complete opposite of the previous game where we were struggling to score goals. And then uh, the second goal came from a really good counter attack actually. And then uh, Jala laid the ball through uh, did a through ball to the new left uh, midfielder whose name I can't pronounce. Who did a really good first time shot to finish the goal off with. That made it 2-0. And again, I show, I show quite a few highlights of the different the, diff the various goals. And then our third goal would come from, I think it was Ajale. He did a really good turn. Again, driving. I do that move all the time in FM, um, FM FIFA. I, uh, you know, you drag it back and then you just take the defender the wrong way. And then he just did a great finish into the corner. So it was an awesome, awesome goal by him. He's a, Ajalo is a superstar for us, uh, this team. He really is, because of his pace. It's all about speed with him. And no defender, well, other than when FIFA uh, decide that, you're, that the opposition get a burst of speed, can keep up with him. So he's an awesome weapon for us to have. Their goal did come, though, in the 90th minute. It felt like it, we were playing till, um, till Bristol Rovers do score. And they did get a consolation goal. And it was, it was a really good goal, actually, to, to be fair to them. Uh, it was a bit of a um, bit clumsy by my player, just kicked the ball straight to their guy, but he did get the ball in and it was a good finish by a ginger striker, or a ginger player, so good finish there to make the game 3-1, so, but we would go on to get the win, obviously that's all that really, really matters, so that means we've now won two games and lost a game in the league and we're also at the Capital One Cup. So, so far so good, six points from a possible nine, so not too fussed about that one, quite good. I think we're just outside the playoffs, I believe. So at the moment, my objective is still 100% promotion. We would go on to sell Midson to whoever it was. Um, so that freed up some wage wages, and I would go and try and sign a centre back. I think it was Bodorov I tried to get, and he's a quick, a very quick centre back. For, well, quick for a for a centre back, and he's a little bit little bit short though, which is a little bit of a concern. That could become a bit of an issue when the balls are coming flying into the box. You know, League Two. Route 1 style, that could become a bit of an issue, but he is quick, so he what he lacks for in height, he makes for, makes up for in speed, and if we've got someone like Balkenstein alongside him, then Balkenstein can deal with the uh, the high balls. That's pretty much going to do it for me, though. Leave a like on this episode if you've enjoyed it, and let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on Bodorov. Do you think he's it's an issue he's a bit short? 
other than that, that's pretty much going to do it for me, and I'll see you guys what next time. Next in the N Power League 2. The league leaders, Barnet, face a trip to 17th placed Morecambe, while second placed Cheltenham Town.